What's going on guys? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. I just received a package, so I want to do a quick unboxing, show you guys what I have inside. EVGA 12 gigabyte XC3 hybrid GeForce RTX 3080 Ti by Nvidia. This box is massive. All right, so this hybrid card, for those of you that don't know, this is a water-cooled card. I have never owned a water-cooled GPU, but as you can see, this right here is attached. So, obviously, that's the GPU side. You know what? I'm gonna put this aside for a second. All right, so there's just some instructions in the box. Got some Velcro straps. And zip ties, nuts and bolts, I assume, to bolt the water cooler to your PC. All right, so let's get this stuff out of the way. So as you can see, there is the water-cooled 3080 Ti. Let's open the fans and the cooler up first. Show you guys what she looks like. And now we will open the GPU. It's uh, definitely different having a hybrid GPU, seeing as I can't hold this GPU with one hand because obviously the cooler's attached to it. This is the cooler it comes with. Those are definitely bigger than 120 millimeter fans. Actually, maybe they're not. These look like really large fans, maybe because the cooler is small. Not sure. But that is the cooler it comes with. And this is the beautiful GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Hybrid by EVGA. All right, so it's about time to get this thing up on a uh, rig and get it tested. So I have one more riser from GPURisers.com. Again, thank you Vistang for sending these over. Moments like these when my uh, GoPro is way more handy than the ZV-1. So my challenge is gonna be putting it on this VETA frame. I think I'm gonna take the uh, water-cooled section right here, and I'm going to throw that basically just right up on this box, just to sit there for the time being until I get uh, this in an actual PC because this is going to run much cooler than my 3090 because that thing 100% thermal throttles and I can't have that. So I'm taking that out and that's going to be a full time miner. So let's get this riser on. Pull off this little rubber guard that all GPUs should come with. But I've noticed lately some of them don't because companies are slacking. I'm assuming from their... Uh, rushing to fill orders okay risers on now all right well this is a challenge <laughs> carrying a water cooled gpu with one hand definitely not recommended all right so i think i'm gonna sit it like this right on the rig like so. Look at that. Not bad, right? That'll work. Like I said, this is only for testing anyways, so I think that's an okay setup for now. All right, so everything's plugged in. I have a splitter going to the top of the 3080 Ti. 
What's nice about this card actually, it only has two eight pins on the top and a for the win three has three eight pins. So that's kind of cool. It's a little less power, um, I, I hope anyways. So I guess we'll see. So start this thing up. I think we're good to go. Well, that doesn't seem normal. Why is that fan not spinning? I'm going to reboot that. All right, so I just changed the configuration on this. Um, I took the two PCIe cords from the actual PSU and put them into here. And I took the split off six pin and I actually had to put it onto a splitter. So this one's just not gonna be doing nothing, but that's plugged into the riser because I didn't have an extension to plug that in. Yeah, it's just kind of strange. I don't, I don't know why, but yeah, I guess let's try to start it up. Let's see, um, let's see if everything comes on. There we go. Now she's spinning. Well, that's nice looking too, huh? Even the backside lights up. Actually, so does the 3080 for the Win 3. So that's kind of cool. As you can see, the water cooling portion of the GPU is working just fine. The GPU is lit up and the fans are obviously off because it's not mining. Hive is booting up as we speak. So, I guess uh, you guys will have to stay tuned for the hash rate video. I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.